Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Heather Monthe. Um, as you can see, I have a new video set up. It's really nice, but I get a whole bigger view of my background. And so you can see Cole. You always know that Cole likes to join me in my videos. So in today's video, what I wanted to do is an unboxing of the DJI Robomaster Tello Talent Drone, um, or the Robomaster TT Drone. So I just got it. Um, I did I did open the box, you know, the mailing box, because you know why? Because um, it came in the mail and FedEx sent it and they were knocking on my door and I was in a meeting and I said, hey, you can't knock on my door like that. Uh, I forgot it was coming. So I didn't leave them a note telling them not to knock on my door. So I did open it up because I wasn't, <laughs> I forgot it was coming. Um, so anyways, got the shipping here. So let's get to it. So this is the Robomaster TT. Um, Tello Talent drone um, on the box. We've got you know a picture of the drone here, so you can see it. And um, you know, it looks a lot like the Tello Edu drone. Um, I do have my Tello Edu here with me, so I will um, do show you side by side what that looks like. But this is what the the box looks like. It's you know obviously it's a very um, quality quality box. Um, good for storage, um, that kind of thing. So I don't have something right here to open the package. So where are my scissors? Hmm, okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to use a pen. <laughs> All right, we're back. I have scissors. So you see Cole, he, he keeps my arm down. He doesn't want me to use my arm, so I have to like this. Um, All right, so we're going to open this up. This is this is packaged really well. It's not going anywhere. There we go. So, all right, before we open it up, it says on the back, let talent soar. You see that there, let talent soar. So it's got all of the different features of the Tello Talent drone. I'm going to go ahead and read those to you. Uh, we have the ESP32 open source controller. We'll talk about that in future videos. Um, we have the TOF sensor, dual frequency communication module. You can program a swarm of drones. Um, you can unlock more possibilities with SDK. There's an extension board, programmable LED, precise hovering, programmable dot matrix display, and multiple flight modes. And there's five megapixel photos and 720p HD transmission of video. So those are all the different things whoops, that are listed on the back of the box here. All right, so let's open it up. It does say this is ages 14 plus. I don't remember what it was for the Tello EDU. So it does say ages 14 plus, likely because, um, you know, sometimes you use these drones with, with some of the lower kids. Um, they're kind of dainty, you know, they're kind of dainty here, especially the uh, props. Uh, you don't want people breaking them, so that might be it. All right, here's the box. We're good here. Set that over there. Um, so we got some launch pads, landing pads. Uh, this comes with the Tello EDU as well. Um, let's see how many are here. One, two, there's quite a few. Yeah, there's quite a few. I'd say at least 10. I don't know the exact number. I'll see if I can find it out. But there's a bunch of uh, launch and landing pads here that you can use, you can program to use. Um, then we have the drone here itself. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. I'm going to hold it up so you can see. Um, okay, so we have, let's start here. So we have the drone itself. So it looks exactly like the Tello, which it is. I mean, it is a Tello, but uh, it looks just like the Tello EDU, um, but different color. We've got red here. So you can see we've got the Tello EDU, and I'm going to hold it differently because I do have my a label on here with my phone number <laughs> in case I lose this outside. Um, so I've got my Tello here and then the Tello Talent. So you can see they're the same size. Um, they're the same drone. All right. So we just got some expanded capabilities with the Tello Talent drone, um, which I'll be making uh, quite a few more videos. So we've got um, the battery. I obviously will need to charge it. It you know, just came. So the battery fits in, you know, just like it, just like before. It just fits in the slot right here. You can see that. Uh, you can just pop it, pop it right in. And you'll hear a little click that it's in. Um, of course, it comes with the silica gel. 
And then we have the LED. So we have this um, LED sensor, or LED, LED sensor. It's the LED. It's programmable LED. So we've got the microchip here, microcontroller here, and then we've got my eyes are getting bad. We've got the um, LED. So it looks like uh, we can pop it off, take it on, put it on, that kind of thing. That comes right off. Pop it in place. It didn't put it back together right. There we go. All right. So we've got, this is the LED right here. Sorry, I wasn't holding it up very high there. Um, and so you can see on the top of the RoboMaster, we've got these six uh, divots there, I guess. Holders, I don't know, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can put the, I think this just goes right on here. You know, you just clip it on. And then you have your programmable drone with the LED. So what you could do is program, a, you know, a drone swarm. You could do a light show. You can do all sorts of fun stuff with this. Um, I do know I haven't tried it yet, obviously, because I just got it. But you can do, um, you can do different animations on here. You can do um, different characters. So you could do a scrolling text message. Um, there's a lot of different options that you can do with that uh, charging cable. Yay. And then it comes with the manual right here. Um, what I would do is create a drone binder for your new drone. Um, if you don't already have it, you know, a lot of people when they have their drones, they, they, they keep this stuff electronically. There's software out there that can, you can um, monitor the maintenance of the drone, how many hours are on the prop, that kind of stuff. Obviously, if you're working in education, your budget's very limited. So I did create a template that you can use. It's a drone binder that um, you can keep track of all of the, you know, the manual, the manual of the drone. I suggest downloading the PDF of this, and then you could, you could print it up, put it right in the binder. Um, then it's got some uh, spreadsheets in that where you can uh, keep track of how many hours are on the prop. Uh, you know, it, 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 I, I think it's a good idea to do it. I mean, the, this is a $240 drone. Um, you want to keep track of how many hours or so you have on the props. Um, but also it's a good way to teach students about uh, drone maintenance and um, uh, just how to care for the drones. I and mean, that's a whole industry in and of itself. So then here we've got um, extra extra props and they're red. I'm not going to take these out, but these are some extra props that come with it. So if you are interested in that drone binder, I will uh, link to that in the description below. Um, I think it's only a couple bucks, uh, but again, it's a template that you can uh, use. So here is my example of my drone binder. This is the one that I use for my, um, for my Tello. Uh, so in the template you get, uh, you get a cover sheet. Look at this. You get a cover sheet. I'm just going to show this to you very quickly. I do have a video explaining this, but I just wanted to show it to you more. You've got a cover sheet that carries important documents about the drone. You could put in a copy of your Part 107 certificate. If you're, you're doing this in classroom, you might not necessarily have that. And you can keep a printed copy of your airspace authorizations, any pre-flight inspection checklists that you have created, which I would suggest creating for your new drone. You've got drone flight logs. You can keep track of how many hours um, are on the prop, who are the pilots, what was the weather. Um, if you have taken any photos or videos, you can document here where the where you're storing that. Keep all that stuff, any, or, any of your insurance documents, your drone registration. Now, uh, because of the weight of the Tello, you don't necessarily have to register it. Um, but guess what? If you're using it as commercial, it needs to be registered. So drone operating manual, this is, and this is where I just, I printed up the Tello um, uh, user manual. You can put it right there. And then, you know, if you wanted to keep a copy of the current VFR sectional, you got your drone maintenance logs, all this good stuff, your drone warranty information, blah, 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 blah. What else do we got in here? Your proof of purchase, so a copy of the receipt. Um, illustrated parts breakdown, uh, this is really good for, um, uh, for inventory and for maintenance. Um, like I said, probably a little overkill for a toy drone, to educational toy drone, but this is a really good exercise to have students go through because drone maintenance and repair is a very lucrative and uh, up and coming career. So this really helps show that. So I'll link to the, um, 
actual uh, template itself in the description below. And then uh, also I'll link to the video where I explain that everything that goes into the drone binder. So that is the unboxing of the RoboMaster TT. I will be creating some blogs um, and additional videos on some activities that you can do with this drone uh, with your students in the classroom, out of the classroom, um, that kind of thing. If there's anything in particular that you want to see, I would love to hear from you. Um, it helps me kind of know what it is that you want to know how to do. Um, so if you go to my Facebook group, it's called Educators Who Drone. It's on Facebook. You can just search for Educators Who Drone right on Facebook. You can go to educatorswhodrone.com. It forwards you to my website and gives you a link to the Facebook group. Um, but that's where uh, we have a lot of different teachers from like seven different countries that are talking about some of the different ways that they're using drones in education. And um, that's kind of where I learned what kinds of things you are interested in, you're trying to figure out how to do, you know, what your, what your problems are, what, you know, what kind of concerns you have, all that kind of stuff. So it gives me some good uh, ideas to make content for you and help you out. So head over to educatorswhodrone.com or go on Facebook, Educators Who Drone, and I'd love to hear from you there what you would like to learn more about the RoboMaster TT. Thank you.